blacksmith? Mm, just a little. So we use copper clad aluminum on this thing in wiring and when that stuff gets wet, it just corrodes like crazy. So our grounding wire, so we have to kill it with the choke right now. So we're gonna have to make a new harness. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna be, <laughs> What we're gonna be you gotta lift that leg up high to get off <laughs> We both got caught. I have to go over this. Uh, anyways, we built this thing like two years ago and we never really did anything with it. You can see the air filter got squished because Coleman puts their kickstands where it holds the bike exactly straight up. So in a storm it fell over. So we do have to modify the kickstand, cut it down some uh, to make this thing lean a lot harder this way. We're gonna make a new wiring harness. Uh, we're going to leave the gas tank. This area here is for a cooler we have outside. We have two fishing rods in this tube right here. Mm -hmm. For This is supposed to be a camping mini bike. And this was propane, wasn't it? Yeah, for the grill. Propane. And so what we're going to do, we're going to pull this Duramax 440 big block off and put a Tiltson Electric Start 212 because this engine and CVT setup is very heavy. Do we got any scales here? I think mm -hmm. you have one. Did we throw them away? I think so. I wish we had some scales and we would weigh both of them to see the weight difference. It's going to be huge though. And that's the problem is like Lonnie's no problem getting on here with me because the bike's already so heavy with this big block. So I think it'd be a lot better with that small engine. And we know a 212 is going to pull this perfectly fine. This is almost, dare I say, too much power. Like if I was to sell it, I'm afraid someone would get hurt on it. Uh, we got to take the exhaust off and hook the harness and pull them. Should be a quick-ish swap. I may have to drill new holes in the engine plate because of it being a 212. This is a big block engine. Plate. So let's get the get the ranching. Oh yeah, Lauren made me these plates. Thank you, Lauren. In case you have a mouth for me. How do you remember that? I respect people, you know. <laughs> uh, Six hundred RPM. We did the upgraded Go Power Sports sells the upgraded rollers and springs for this, and we did those to it because it was so torque. I don't like stock carbs on these, on any of them, on two twelves or anything, but uh, that made it a lot better. So set this up. Keep tearing stuff up. I'm getting the harness unplugged. We got a voltage regulator on this top plate. I don't know if you can see that. And then this is the starter wire. Then we have this relay here for the, I guess that's for the headlight. Uh -huh. go this well, I got burnt in the marriage. <laughs> not funny. No, that was not. Why would you say that? I didn't. So that, we got a ground right here. Then we can unhook the fuel line. Brad Hill made this gas tank. That thing's sweet and we added a battery hold down even though our bungee cord has long died but that was a pretty cool setup so we're going to leave the battery there but i'm going to pull it off and go ahead and pop it off on the trickle charger mm -hmm. nice expensive battery on this thing i can't believe it held charge for a year <coughs> allergy season is upon us oh yeah i'm going to redo this whole entire wiring harness with a better quality wire. We have since switched using copper clad aluminum. The reason we used it was, you guessed it, cheap. Battery is out. <laughs> Done. Got a 15 16th nut on the rear driven pulley. Use a 9 16 to take the front bolt off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. This is the second engine we have downgraded in horsepower. What is coming of this channel? <laughs> Little Rascal took a 212 off of it. And uh, we did the 79 on it. Are we becoming less American? 
I think so. Technically, yes. This mini bike has literally been covered the whole entire existence mm -hmm. of it. And it's still, everything's seized on it. There it oh, is. Yeah. All right. That blaster was eating it. Eating the rest. Now to make sure we don't have any other any other wires hooked up to the engine. And now the bolts are ready to be taken out the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this exhaust too. Oh. Cut the fuel line right there, sir. That's it. There, 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 there go. Right there? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. These are my favorite little things that go power sports sales. You have to buy these separate than this top plate, but it's a spring loaded so you won't over stretch anything like when you're throttling it. Once you hit, you know, bottomed out, it'll stretch this. If you have more throttle twist so you won't break anything. Pretty handy go power sports, your sweethearts. This is their engine plate, and that ain't gonna fit through there. So this whole entire thing. Because this engine will not be keeping the stock carb anyway, so we won't be able we won't be using this uh, throttle setup when this engine goes on whatever it's going to go on who knows okay. look how we had to cut that torque converter plate oh yeah cvt i remember doing that yeah and the notch at puppy That son is heavy. It's a heavy engine. You can see where oil spilled out when we, when the bike tipped over. Oh, we'll clean her up and start seeing what we got to do to fit the 212 on there because I'm assuming we're going to have to drill some other bolt holes. Alrighty, we have a Tillotson 212 electric start from you boys at Go Power Sports. You already know this is our favorite engine. So what I'm going to do is a little challenge, uh, challenge you guys. I'm sure there's people out here that can beat this time. Uh, now I'm not going like crazy as fast as I possibly can go But I'm just going to go with this at a steady pace and see how fast I can remove the uh, Muffler the gas tank air box carb and the governor from inside the engine now since this is a Tiltson We do not have to worry about the valve springs, so we will not be messing with the valve springs whatsoever So if you guys want to try this and see how fast you can do it uh, I challenge you to see how quick you can you know break down an engine real quick and put it back together we are going to be installing a top plate but this is not going to be in the time but what it's going to be in this whole time thing is a Makuni adapter with a vm22 millimeter Makuni from go power sports because we're not going to be running the stock car so i got my phone here and i already have the screen where it won't time out for 30 minutes so we're going to start this timer you guys will be able to see the timer live I'm gonna strip this thing down. Like I said, all we're gonna do is strip the air box muffler, gas tank, uh, key switch box. I'm getting rid of that. Taking the factory carb off. Then I'm gonna remove the flywheel and knock the governor out from back there. And uh, and then pull the side cover off and get the internals out. So again, if you wanna try this, tag me in it on whatever social media you wanna post on, whether it's Instagram, whatever. I'd like to see how fast you guys can do it. Uh, definitely not bragging, someone out there will beat me. So try it. I have uh, most of my tools that I'm going to need laid out as well, so I would advise you guys to do the same. So, without further ado, let's go.
him. Whoo! We have. Okay, after not having all my tools ready, 21, 22, 12. And I would like to try to beat long time. Uh, and like I said, that means torquing everything to spec. We torqued everything we took off down the spec. So, yeah, governor removed. And we don't have to mess with the valve springs. We got the carbon installed. We're good to go. So, 21 minutes, 22 seconds. And I forgot to pop off the emissions box. But other than that, you know. You know we're going to be using a juggernaut. <laughs> Cannot hide money, baby. Woo! Got that stimulus check. Got that stimulus check. Stole my sisters. Stole my sisters. You give me his password. <laughs> Shouldn't give me your password. Shouldn't let me claim your kids last year. <laughs> okay, this is the way I like to put them on. You can sue me if you want to. I don't care. I don't even care anymore. Can I see you in the phone too? No. <laughs> Only non friends. Oh yeah, you're not my friend. Okay. Hey! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, so now we can start test fitting this hog. on the back so we're gonna put a nut on there and we'll come back at you okay all right hush so we'll definitely need the risers for sure that'd be for sure though uh i wore some risers up they fell out i mean those ain't gonna work but they'll work so set them up under there there's two good yeah sure. all right so this is gonna be the hard part like an art bark <laughs> is this gonna work? Dude, it was born working. Back. Pull it back out. Towards me? Yep, there. Okay. Alright, we're ready to rock it. <laughs> Holes clamping. Alright, I'm just trying to see where the uh, bolt holes do not line up. Whatsoever. So, Zero. it looks like this run will work. So that means if that run will work, we just gotta mark out from this one. So let's uh, measure and tape it. Let me see if I got some risers from you boys at GPS. Cause I don't wanna know that.
All right, so she's all put back together. It's so much nicer with this smaller engine on it. I know some people will smack their face against the keyboard saying we should have left the 440. But I've rode it down the yard and this engine's way better, like in the weight. I mean, just the weight of that engine is massive, isn't it, bull? For steering purposes. Even with Lonnie on it, it's world of difference. Like, it's so much more drivable now. So, we're uh, on the next video, you see, we'll be taking this thing down the road. We're going to decide if we want to do the Go Power Sports upgrade 60 tooth. Uh, we may do this. It just depends on how it, how it goes on the road. So, we'll do a top speed run, and we'll go take her out for a home snort. So, Stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out those links for all these parts in the video's description. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We love you and God bless. <laughs>